Hey you guys, what's up? How are you? Happy Friday. Um, wait a second. Pretty sure that I didn't go, I think I went live in the wrong place. Um, and I don't know how to tell. But, Sabrina, where am I live at right now? I think I'm live in the wrong place. Where am I? Am I? Where am I at? <laughs> okay. So, hey, Lori. Yeah, I'm on the wrong one, but there's like so many people here, so I guess mm -hmm. I was supposed to be going live in my group. Um, but I guess we're just gonna wing it because whatever. Okay. <laughs> I'm on your computer, Miss Marlin. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, welcome. Um, so, some of you may not know, my name's Michelle Elders. Those of you that do, welcome back. If you're live, let me know. I'm not supposed to be live over here, but whatever. We're going to do it. Um, and let's just let's just get on with it. If you're watching the replay, let me know. Um, hey, Rosemary, what's up? I'm going to spray my face so you guys don't have to wait on that. Um, so, I just wanted to like... So, I got added to this group yesterday. And, you know, everybody's just like... Hey, what's up, Trish? So, there was like, I believe that too, Lori. I really, really do. I do in life so much. But honest to goodness, you guys, I got added to this group yesterday. And I'm not one, like, I don't add people randomly to my group. Like, that's not me. Because I don't like being added added randomly to groups. Um, but I got added to this group, so I was like, well, let's just see where I'm even at. Like, where, where am I? So I checked it out, and it was um, this group. Sorry, guys, I'm zipping a jacket. Go outside with Daddy. Um, but it was this group, and it was like all these girls, and they're talking about, I'm just going to do my makeup. I'm not really explaining it. I'm just going. We're going to talk because i got to go. Um, but it was this group. It was like, you, I seen you were posting one that you, like, had to have it. I've not had one in a long time. Mine broke back, la like, April of 2017, and I never got a new one. And I've saved, like, so much money on my light bill since I didn't get one. What are you doing? Go on with Daddy. Please, 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 please. Go with Daddy. Outside. She's like, hey, hey, Chelsea, what's up? Hey, Ashley. Go outside. Okay, but anyway, so I went in this group, and it's all these girls, and it's like, they're complaining, or they're like, so there was a question on there, and again, I didn't ask to be in this group, I just was going through my Facebook, and it was like, oh, you're in the group, and I'm like, where am I? Um, that's why I don't add people to groups, but anyway, so I look around, and I see all this stuff, and they're like, how many female friends do you have? And it's obviously a girl's... Oh, Go outside. Go outside. Hold on. Let me get her with her dad. Go outside. Ho Michael, holler her. Go with daddy. Go play. Go with daddy. Hurry. You have to go. Go. Yeah, go outside with daddy. Go bye-bye with daddy. Go. Go outside. Go play. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um... But anyway, obviously I wash them at the laundromat, Rosemary, just so you know, like, well, you know that. Um, Harley, go outside. You guys, I'm going to have to kick her tail. So you guys are just going to have to bear with me. Not really, for just saying. Bear with me. Please don't go anywhere. Talk amongst yourself. Okay, okay, okay. So, I went through the group. Again, hey, Mom, what's up? So, I went through the group that I woke up in yesterday. And it was like, how many female friends do you have? And there was a lot of people who were like, zero, zero, whatever. And I, I had to comment when I saw that. I was like, you know what? I was like, I've got a tribe. And I said, it wasn't always that way for me. But I got a tribe. And um, so somebody commented back. I'm not going to say their name. She may be on here. 
and she was like, um, she was like, uh, I just, I've, I've been burnt so many times, so as long as I've got my kids, whoops, and my husband, I'm content, and I said, you know what, that was how I was about seven months ago, I thought I was content, but I was not content, I said, I realized then I felt like I'm out of breath, you guys. What is going on? <laughs> oh, and I just got a little bitty set of stairs. <laughs> like, it's just this big. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Anyway, so I was like, I thought I was content, but I'm glad. I'm glad that I have a tribe now. And she's like, well, I just really don't think I have any true friends, you know. And I'm like, you know what? I'm l I just can't say enough how... I was not content. Like, I wanted to act like I was content when I had zero friends. Like, I was always here because I've always been a stay-at-home mom. And I had my kids and I had my husband. And, you know, that was that was great. Or I thought it was great. But really, it was doing stuff to me. Like, I did not put makeup on. Didn't even, nothing about it. I didn't know nothing about it. It was so complicated. And I didn't go out, never left the house, never done anything. Didn't talk to nobody on a regular basis. Didn't go to the doctor, didn't fix my hair. I didn't do anything. Stop, Harley. Oops, this is like blurry. Hold on, let me fix it. There. Go outside. I'm not zipping it again. I'm not going to zip it again. Go in there with Jace. Go. Thank you. Okay. But, so, I, I was, I just didn't have anybody. Not family, not anybody. I would go to my mother-in-law's on Sunday so that my kids could be around her, you know. And that's really what i done, and that's it. And so, as long as they were good, I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And then, when Michael was gone for those eight months, it was just like the worst ever, but I'm not going to get, like, I'm not going to get into that. My point is, is I was just your basic mom who had mom guilt if I bought a t-shirt or done anything that was for me, you know, and so I know that it's normal to feel that way because we're moms. But the fact is, is that I needed something, and I'm pretty sure that God was the reason that I found my tribe. Um, honestly, I needed them more than I needed, like, I needed the money, you guys. I needed it, if you know me, but from, like, a few months ago, how bad the situation was for me, then you know that I really needed the money. But I was so alone, I was so depressed, and I felt like I just lost me. I was, all I was, was a mom. And you know, I love being a mom, don't get me wrong, you guys. It's the best, best thing that's ever, 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 ever happened to me. But, I find now that I'm a better mom because I take care of me. And so, I, for a long time, I thought that I was alone. Like, nobody ever had felt this way before. I still feel like that. Because I read yesterday, somebody posted, am I the only one that never spends money on myself or never does anything for myself? I read this po that post on Facebook. And she was like, um, am I, or something. And there was all these other girls, and they were like, no, I don't either. Um, and it kind of made me feel bad, because she was like, I don't, am I the only one that doesn't get my nails done, or this or that? And you all know how recently it, it has been since I've started getting my nails done, but it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time, but I always felt guilty. And she said, I don't get my hair done, my nails done, and all this stuff, and I'm like, well, like, it kind of made me feel bad that I do, that I do get my nails done. But you know what? I don't feel bad because my kids have more than I ever had growing up, ever, 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 ever. They have more than most kids see in a lifetime, okay? My kids are well flipping off. All right, they're well off. And if I'm going to go, like today, look at my nails, how gross they are. I'm going to get them filled in. And I'm going to do it with a smile on my face. And you know what? My son went to school. My son went to school the day after I got my nails done, the first time. The very first time I got to get my nails done since I started making my own money, which I started making my own money about seven months ago. Um, but my son went to school. He, They come with me, obviously. I didn't have a babysitter. I don't have babysitters. Um, 
they're always with me. Whoops. But so he come, he went to school the next day. And he's like, he told him. They told me, his teacher told me, um, Jay said that you got your nails done. I want to see them. And he was happy about it because I was happy about it, right? So because mommy was happy, he was happy, you know? And it just like, it was just like a breath of fresh air when they said that to me because I think it was a parent meeting they said that to me, telling me about what he'd said. And it's really, really important to take care of yourself. And I'd been told that for like all my life all my life <laughs> take care of yourself and then you can take care of everybody else but you know how many times i listened to that a big fat nun i didn't do anything but take care of every single body else there was no me involved and that was fine with me so i thought and i promise you having a tribe having women having friends real friends that we really are on each other's side every single day having things that are for me not just taking care of everybody else. Like, I still do that, but I do it better. I do it better. I get to buy things with my own flipping money for them. I get to take them wherever. Like, when we left the aquarium the other day, we went out and ate with my own money. Okay? Um, like, it's just like... There's so many things that I couldn't have done that I haven't done before because I felt guilty. And it was, there's no reason to feel guilty, mothers. If you're a mom out there and you're like, I just, I don't want to get my hair done, but I need to. I really would love to. Do it. You want to get your nails done? It's something you want to do forever? Do it. Don't wait till Mother's Day or the one time of the year, your birthday or whatever. Do it. Do it for you. And I promise you, your kids will benefit from it. Your husband will benefit from it. If you're by yourself, whatever, you're going to benefit from it. Everybody is. Okay? So take care of yourself. Do not... Do not leave yourself out, because when you leave yourself out, you're not really gonna, you're not really taking care of anybody. I mean, you are, but you could be doing way better. And I feel like, for me, knowing that there's better, like a better, like I'm a better version of me when I'm happy, right? So why not give the kids, my kids, my husband, the best version of me that there is? And who would have knew somebody who didn't wear makeup would be going live doing something like this. I mean, if anybody, any of you that know me know that I was not a makeup wearer, okay? This was not me. And I just, I don't know, I fell in love with how easy it was. But more than that, I, I began to love me again. Something that didn't make me feel like I was covering me up. I was just enhancing parts of me. And now when I don't wear my makeup, I can still see the cheekbones that I never saw before. I always, always say I have a really fat face. Or I can see the slimmer line where I make my nose contour that looks crazy right now. Don't worry. Um, I know it's not done yet. Um, but honestly, you guys... I see these things in myself. Jace, go away. Go away. No, no, no. And that's what I that's why I'm doing this. That is why I do what I do so that you guys all get to feel what I feel. Okay? I want you guys to feel it. I want you to know. I want you to know that it's okay to feel good. It's okay to choose to take care of you okay to do all that and I'm surely to God I'm not the only one who ever felt like I was I had lost my identity literally like I was not Michelle I was mom even me and Michael like we struggled because it was like we forgot us we we forgot each other like we just were mommy and daddy and that was all we were and now, it's like, honest, honest, I'm not going to lie. I'm not even lying to you. And this is, I've only said this to him, so this is kind of deeper for me, like inside my life. But honest to goodness, I told him the other day, I was like, you know, I see these people and they're like, and they say, you know, you thank you, thank you guys. You guys are so awesome. I don't want to read the comments because I get distracted. I will read them, though, before I get off here because I don't want you thinking that I'm ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you at all, you guys. I just know that I'm a talker. And if you know me, you know that about me. 
But so the other day I was telling my husband, I was like, I see these posts. And you know what? Social media is killing me lately. I'm just going to tell you. It's killing me. Because I've seen these posts and they're like, all of them are just like, bam, bam, bam. Like, inside, inside, inside. And they just, I mean, it's a good thing though. Because it just like, it kind of reinforces that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be. I'm where, exactly where I'm supposed to be. But, so it was like, um, somebody mentioned marriage. And she was like, this, this girl, maybe it was a guy, I'm not sure. But he was like, um, just wait till you've been with them for um, about 10 years. After about five years, the spark goes away and you're just, you're just another person. Like, yours are just like roommates. After about eight, um, five years, the spark leaves. Um, you don't have that anymore. I'm not getting married because blah, blah, blah. That's why. And I've always been somebody that believed in marriage, okay? My grandparents, my great-grandparents, they, like, really, they were... They're the best example I've ever seen in my life. And so, I never gave up on it. So, for me, I wanted to be married one time. But when I would read stuff like that, just like the other day I read this, and it was like, oh, so is that what I have to expect? Like, we've been together almost seven years. And it scares me. So, I'm like, I told Mike, I was like, but I don't, like, I told him about the post and that I read that. And they say after five years, it's like this or this. I was like, but I don't feel that. I don't feel like it's any, like, I don't feel like we're roommates. Like, I still love him just like it was day one. And the thing is, though, is it gets, let me put a shoe on. Let me put a shoe on, you guys. Hold on. Hold on. One second. There you go. But at one time, we did realize, like, a couple years ago that we weren't making time for each other. We were just mom and dad in it. We were a great team, mom and dad in it. But we're more than mom and dad in it, right? We are us, too, right? So, like, we're going to be here together when the kids are gone, right? So, we were like, we've got to make time. And it wasn't until, wasn't until I started taking care of me feeling more attractive, more confident that we got the spark back. It wasn't that we lost it. It was just like, we need, we need more of something. And we don't, we still don't, like, we don't go out. We don't get to do that. We don't have babysitters. But guess what? At home, when we make time and I feel good about me, he feels good about him, we make the time even if it's 12 o'clock at night, it's the only time we get, we make the time. And so I feel like five years bull, 10 years bull. If you love your person and you're confident, and that's what's so important. Because I was not confident at all with myself, okay? I was not, but now that I am, I feel like I bring a little more to the table. And he gets to... Like, and he, en he enjoys that. He likes me loving me. Like, he really likes that I'm not so down on myself all the time anymore. And that was something that I really, really struggled with. And he gets those vibes from me that I think I look good or that I feel good. Not that I'm, not that I think I'm the best in the world or whatever. But I'm okay with me and all my flaws and all the things. I'm totally fine with that. Right? Totally, totally fine with all the flaws that are me. Do you see this eye? I have way more skin on this eye than I do this one. Okay? I have an underbite. Like, it's like that. It's like that. Okay? I have a chin that comes out to here. But you know what? When I stopped, when I stopped looking at the things that bothered me, and started, ooh, I really like what this does with my cheeks. Or, I really like what this does with my nose. Or, whatever. I stopped being so hard on me. Because I can own my flaws and own the things that I like. And I think that that's what everybody needs. I really, really do. Whether you're a mom, whether you're not, you need to make time for you. It's not wrong to want to have time for you. It's not wrong to want to have time with your boyfriend, husband, spouse, whatever. It's not wrong. It's actually so right that I can't even tell you. 
how right it is, okay? It is so right that there is no, no, nothing else I can say about it. Yeah, go outside with Chase. Go outside with Chase. You're fine. So when your kids see you and your husband happy, just like my kids see us happy, it makes them happy. And I feel like that's what it's all about, right, you guys? It's That's literally what it's all about. And so I say do it. Where in the snot do you think you have such a bad flaw? Honey, I like just like you said, share this if you're ugly. I don't see one ugly thing about you, but you still shared that post. We all have things. Like, my legs are huge to me, and Mike's like, whatever. Like, it's just things that we see about ourselves because, like, social media makes everybody look perfect. The, 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 the shows on TV make everybody look perfect. And the fact is, we're not perfect. We're not going to be perfect. Um... Uh, but we gotta love ourselves anyway. We gotta we gotta be okay with us anyway. Because some, where you don't see the beauty, I do. Just like where I don't, you do. But I don't focus on my flaws anymore. I focus on. I focus on the good things. I focus on the things that I do like about me. Even if it's just a couple things, I lost that. Let me get some focus back. I lost that nitpicking. At myself and that it changed it changed everything I literally choose what I want to focus on with me and I focus on the things that this makeup brings out for me when I like before though <laughs> I can't have 50 million products I can't afford the products at Sephora and Ulta I'm not I'm not, I can't. I mean, it's not that I can't afford it now, I could. But I'm not going to pay that. Not going to pay it because it was so hard for me to understand. And if you're a little slower to make up like me, this was easy enough that I could do it. It was a step-by-step -step thing. They sent me a picture showing me how so I could learn it. But, like, I can do this. So, I, can, I get to feel pretty. And feeling pretty makes for better relationships and better friends. And it's just... It's just all things that are, it's all things great. All things good. All things great, you guys. Which, it, what is it? Um, exactly. That is, that is like, that is so true. And it's, it's so, it's sad. But it's true. I honestly believe that if everybody brought their real selves to the table, people could say, I have more real friends. I have more of this. I have more of that. Because if you bring your real self, people are going to love you. They're going to love you. There's not going to be, not everybody is going to. And that's totally okay, right? You're not here. Yeah, as long as you love you, it doesn't matter, but you're not going to, everybody's not going to love you. But as long as the right ones love you, you're totally, you're totally fine. That's all that matters. And right now, honestly, honestly, I may not have like family reunions to go to like Mike's family, our family now. Uh, I have that, but like, I may not have. The perfect this or that. But every day, I get, I am blessed enough that I get to wake up. And I have women in my corner cheering me on. It's not a competition. And they're like, Michelle, you can do this. And I'm sorry that I'm on this page. Like I was supposed to be in my group. Um, but whatever. I just, I was already on here and I didn't want to back out after I got over here. But you guys, I just want you to know that you are awesome and do not ever feel guilty. If you do feel guilty, unless I'm just alone, huh, do not feel guilty for loving you, for wanting to take care of yourself. Because if you want to be around for those babies and you want those babies to, to have self-confidence and like you can't tell them, you have to show them, you have to show them. You have to show them how to be confident and how to believe in themselves. And it just dawned on me. Like, 
the past seven months. It's more like, like I sell makeup. No, like it's more like I'm in a personal development best thing of my life kind of thing. And it, it was, I don't even know, but I'm so glad. Like it's probably been the best thing I've ever done. So I encourage you. So it's Friday. It's payday for lots of people. Payday for lots of people. My, my, my challenge for you is to do something for you today. That's my challenge for you. Do something for you today. I want you to, whether it is, go lay out in the, well, I'm not going to say that because I won't do that anymore. Uh, whether it's just lock yourself in your room and read your favorite book or buy yourself some a shirt or get your um, nails done or something. Mom, you'll have to wait. Like, you knew I was on here. I can't call right now. Like, come on, dude. Um, but I will call. Like, I know, I know. I've got to go to the grocery store. I know i got to call you. I'm going to do it. I swear to God. Okay. But you guys do something. Whether you buy yourself something, get your nails done, whatever. And I want you guys, well, you don't have to put it in this post what you've done. Um, you can message me and tell me about it. Or if you need ideas on what to do that's not going to break the bank, ask me. I will give you some ideas. It doesn't have to be something that costs money to really do something for you. But if it does cost money, it's okay. I'm going to go get my nails done. That costs money. Okay? I don't care. I mean, I care. But I don't care because my kids have what they need. They have what they need, and they're happy, so I'm good with it. And it's going to make me a better mommy all week long when I look and feel my best, okay? So, anyway, you guys, I'm almost done. I want you guys to have a great weekend. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Yes, awesome. Challenge accepted. You guys, who's going to accept the challenge? Drop a challenge accepted. Hashtag accepted. I want to hear it. I want to see you do the things. I want to know. Tag me. Tag me. May maybe make a post and, and say what you're going to do. and uh, Or say what you've done. Tag me. I don't care. Send me a message. Comment here what you've done. Whatever. And the ones who either tag me, message me, or comment here, showing what they done, take a picture of it or something while you're doing it or when you, whatever, send it to me here, tag me in it, or uh, crap, send me a message, comment here below, whatever, take a picture of it. I'm going to do a drawing for all of you ladies who accept the challenge and do something for you, and I'm going to give you an eyeshadow of your absolute choice, okay? So, do it, you guys. Do it. Do something for you. Take a picture of it. Either send it to me on Messenger, make a post and tag me on Facebook about it, or, or drop a picture in the comments right here um, when you do it. Whether it's buy yourself a shirt, like I said, whatever. I'm saying that because I've got to go buy shirts. I feel like I always wear, like I just bought this shirt the other day, wore it 50 times because I don't have shirts. I'm going to go buy a shirt today. Got to go buy a shirt today because I'm struggling. So, yes, that is it, you guys. And I am going to let you guys go. Let me, oh, my God. Okay. But I'm ready to go. I'm going to go get some food because we have none. Oh, crap. I didn't put anything on my lips. That's gross. Let me let me get something on my lips, Sarah. Let me get something. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. All right. That's a hitter. A hitter. I told you. Told you this mascara was the bomb. And it's cheaper than Epic. And I feel like I love it so much. So. Oh, my gosh, you guys. That just. Whoa. 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 What happened? All right, you guys, I love you all so much, but my wall is falling down. Like, this just literally legit, legit fell off my wall. So, I will talk to you guys soon. Make sure that you either message me, tag me, or put a picture below. It has I need a picture of it. Whether you're just locked yourself in a room reading or whatever you're doing, make sure that you watch this from the back of the back, the beginning, the beginning, the, the, over here. Watch it all. I love you all. Mwah!